New insight into what may have led up to Wednesday's attack at the Buffalo Psychiatric Center that sent three staff members to the hospital with stab wounds. Authorities have arrested a patient accusing him of using a hunting knife to carry out the attack. Tonight, that patient's mother sitting down with our senior reporter, Maki Becker. She talked about her son's health and why she wants him moved out of the Erie County Holding Center. We're also hearing from a union leader who says the psychiatric center needs new security equipment to better protect patients and staff. He was just telling me uh, he just lost it. He said, I just lost him. I just lost him. He said, uh, he said, I was hearing the voices again. They wasn't giving me my medication. And he said, I just lost it. Sylvie Haskins is the mother of 34 year old Calvin Haskins, the man accused of stabbing three staffers Wednesday at the Buffalo Psychiatric Center. Haskins says her son has suffered from mental illness for most of his life and became a patient and resident at the psych center after taking an insanity plea in a separate case. In 2013, he stabbed a man 17 times at a Metro Rail station. For the last two years, Haskins says her son's condition had improved enough that he was allowed to come and go from the facility as he pleased. But recently, she says her son was showing signs that something was wrong. One minute he's nice and friendly, and the next minute he's like just real edgy, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. agitated. Calvin Haskins is now locked up on assault charges at the Erie County Holding Center, where she visited him Thursday. She says he doesn't belong in a jail cell. She wants him to be taken to the psychiatric ward at ECMC. My heart goes out to the three who he stabbed and their families and all in my prayer. But at the end of the day, uh, the system has failed the mentally ill. I also spoke with Wayne Spence, the president of Public Employees Federation, the union that represents one of the victims, Ed Gordon. Spence visited him at the hospital. Lots of tubes. Uh, he was in pain. Uh, but based on the reports that I heard, I was just grateful that they were talking. And I was just glad they were alive. Spencer says his members credit the nurses on site for likely saving the life of another staffer who was stabbed 10 times. He also says that staff at the psych center have been telling their managers they were concerned about Haskins. They recommended he be locked down at the psych center. His behavior was was given, getting more and more aggressive and they recommended inpatient treatment instead of outpatient and that fell on deaf, deaf ears. Spencer says there are no metal detectors anywhere in the psych center, and it's time they were put in to protect his members and patients too. So we have metal detectors in libraries. We have metal detectors when we go to DMV. I had to go to a metal detector every time I went to see my members at a hospital. We got metal detectors in schools, and we're not gonna have metal detectors, and there used to be metal detectors at these places. Spence is calling on Governor Hochul to order metal detectors be installed at all psychiatric facilities across the state. And if it doesn't happen, he says he may call on his members to walk off the job. We'll let you know what we hear back from Hochul's office and the holding center. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo.